More Tokyo Revengers, oh my goodness, it has only been about a month. I mean, that's not that bad, right? Uh, yeah, sorry to everybody who, who was looking forward to them. Uh, you know, life happens and stuff, and I fell behind on a bunch of things. I have some time today, so I'm going to sit down. I'm going to try and get all of them done and catch back up, but if I can't, then we're still going to be behind many weeks. Uh, but hopefully I'll be on a better enough schedule that we can at least like get a couple out and see what we can end up doing, and I'm going to try to do whatever I can here. Uh I don't remember what happened. I'll be honest. I think we left off and uh, what was buddy's name? Inapi? Inapi? Something like that. Somebody? Uh, that guy. <laughs> we, we sort of formed a good friendship with him uh, and understood his like motives and his reasons and you know how he feels uh, about this whole situation. Takamichi took over Black Dragons as well now. So buddy's running the show <laughs> multiple ways, which is pretty fun. Uh, and basically, I think that was for the most part what we kind of set up. And now our goal is to be able to go get back the black hair guy. Uh, at some point and we just kind of have to rally behind everybody before we ultimately probably go into this big fight that's going to occur uh if because of all that stuff happened i'm assuming we get more focused other character wise probably maybe more of mikey's relationship um with isana and just other people possibly or other people's like reasons for going into this battle and see if there's any other ties and connections and stuff that is going to happen before we ultimately climax at that point would just make the most sense to me so i'm excited but i guess we'll see what happens if you like it all the like and subscribe to me not to be able to stick around for the discussion leaving comments with this particular series let's go on with episode five mm. she won't goodbye emma mm. so leave you we go and live with uh じいちゃん、声でいいな。感じろ。今。お前らは今日から兄弟だ。ガイジンじゃねえの。え、待って変な名前。イケメンだからって惚れんなよ。変な髪型。いや、いや、あれ。めっちゃ傷ついてる。よ
もちろん当番から花かきを引き抜こうってわけじゃない。ああ、一番隊隊長と兼任で。おい、最初に竹道を見つけたのはお前じゃない。<笑>え、えっと、俺だ。Well, what if you appoint him as the leader? So, 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 It would be a special day, yeah. This motherfucker's attack every day at this point. <laughs> We're moving quick. Alright. Damn, already? This kind of what happened in the last time. <laughs> it just like randomly was Christmas, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm <laughs> starting. Oh, he very much does. I don't think you understand. A lot of missions. <laughs> I mean, they have a lot of fucking people and they're really strong. The boy. <laughs> Oh, that's right, none of them knew about that. Mm. Oh, that happened today again? Uh, the timeline's fucking with me. <laughs> this all could have been within a day, though, like the past, like, five episodes now, though. Mm. We can't let the others turn into something like that. When he's turned around, we can't. Okay, no, he's not. Hakai, Omae wa Mitsuya tachi no soba ni tsuite iro. Just wait, please. I'm the Takachan of Kataki. Yeah, but we don't like your mindset here. Hmm. 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 That's a big blow, though. He's like probably a lot stronger than all the background characters. If we're being honest. Black Dragon, Sousetsu's day. Eleven days of birth. How are you going to do this? <laughs> Settle down, buddy. I'm super chat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. No, they just, they just want to have a conversation, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but this shit's personal to him at this point. Yeah. We gotta make sure he gets the job done. Oh, that's right. He carries a lot, yeah. I mean, he's got so many people that fall under him at the end of the day. <laughs> I also wonder if the use of the name like that too could be considered as like a, a way to distance himself from who he actually is. To try and protect himself at the end of the day, I wonder. <laughs> oh yeah, why does that happen? Why has he never been at me? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of 
It's a really good thing to think about. Oh. Are they not after Mikey, but they're after her and they're just trying to like take everything from him? Ah, oh, fuck. I just, oh no. No! Bro, just... D okay. I mean, I get it. I get it, but... Are they all still there? Do they all see this happen? Uh, this was his plan. He's taken fucking everything from him. Yeah. The end goal was always probably targeting her, huh? Which is honestly wasn't even on the table from what I thought. That's true. I didn't even think about that. This isn't the future. But he's gonna fucking turn around and smile too, you piece of shit. お前が5歳の頃、俺のことを追っかけて、ジャングルジムから落ちて足を折ってさ。あの時以来だな。お前をおんぶするの。ラケンに伝えて。ケンちゃん愛してるって。自分で伝えろ。Oh my god. And this is the real beginning of a breaking point. The tough face and everything that we've talked about before is slowly gonna be gone here. Really drive it home. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to give some praise to the direction that we were able to turn this entire episode uh, and make a lot of things start making a bit more sense. Um, we've always always had the understanding of how deeply Mikey cares for people, you know, who's really important to him, why they're important to him, what all these situations kind of are, right? We've always kind of had had that had that understanding. But then when you get the moments where, you know, people say that he goes crazy or he disappears and things happen and he, you know, starts killing people and kills himself and all this other stuff happens, right? He's always been suffering throughout life. Things never go his way. They're not good, right? It makes you start questioning, like, what is bro talking about? Where is this coming from, right? Sure, you know, the stuff with your brothers happened. Uh, but as far as we can tell, you know, the, the whole group's on top. You're on top. You know, things have gone good. For the most part, a lot of your friends are still around. Like, what really is the, the bad thing in these situations? So to use a character like Emma, one who is... Been introduced for a long time and been in not really, I guess, important for the most part. She's just been kind of involved in certain moments. Um, really allow her to become like very important in this sort of moment. Um, and do it especially in like a thing where it's unreversible because you're doing it within the past is such a excellent thing for you to do. She's a character that has a strong relation connection to this guy, you know, that we've explored this dark path that he goes down with us not really fully being able to grasp why or uh, his reasons, I guess, that he goes down this. 
and we never really go too far into their relationship besides keeping it surface level until we start presenting it a little bit more here and so far throughout this arc a little bit. Um, but it makes so much sense to me to be able to do something like this because it feels so unexpected. Like this was not on my list of like characters that I would ever expect to be involved. As far as I was concerned, she was a side character that was involved, you know, when we do little home life things or we want to bring like a little bit of like romance or a little bit of like conflict or reason for other people to maybe fight and do things right that's where where she comes from but then when we introduce her and we take her out the equation like this it's fucking such a smart decision in my opinion like it's such a good way for them to do it uh and they did it in a great job uh it was pretty heartbreaking to see especially like you know the way that mikey's reaction to it ended up coming out by the end uh also the vision and everything we got of the future and the things that he's always been thinking of right uh we we talk him up especially from her perspective of how he's not really this person that he really can portray himself as right he's completely different he really is kind of weak at the end of the day and sure everybody is everybody has that side of themselves that they usually show to somebody else that isn't probably them true selves or the way that they are maybe they do have other people that they show that to or they just only keep it into themselves but who knows um regardless we're able to see that side slowly start peeling out right he doesn't show that weakness to literally anybody the only other time i can recall us seeing a weakness come from him uh he's always had on like such a strong face in every other moment and the only other time that it, it came out was when he thought that draken was going to end up dying at one point and he literally ran away from everybody else and he went hiding into a different area so nobody could see him when he broke down in that moment right he does not want to be seen like that he stays calm and collected in all these moments he does not want others to to look at the leader in this situation and view him as weak he has to stay strong and and uphold this image for everybody else which is a tough task right it's a big burden for him to kind of take on and it sucks uh i mean even the stuff that's happened with uh kazutoro right and how afterwards you know he he goes through killing all these fucking people and you know takes takes baji his brother all these other people and still having the strength to be able to forgive this person right uh and and not wanting this person to end up dying and, and wants to be able to see him and be together with this person when he's able to get out of prison at some point is like the craziest fucking thing right it really is in my opinion uh because it's so much for somebody like that to take on so to peel away the layers slowly and to a point that you, it's a breaking point basically at this point uh and take away somebody like this who you probably i'm assuming nobody really expected maybe maybe at the beginning thinking back on it now at the beginning of this episode it made sense why are we showing like flashbacks and stuff like that i guess you could have maybe initially thought that but i don't think anybody went into the season or like at any point probably was like yeah i think this could probably happen or this could probably be like the the reason or something which i think is just insane uh really to think about i love the idea of playing with a death in our timeline here without us going forward and finding out that somebody else is dead or us going and trying to change something that happens to prevent that right i i love the idea of taking something and making it permanent right um unless i mean there's always ways that i guess they can try and pull it out and like a time travel thing and bring people like her back um i don't can't think of a way that that would work especially in this situation so i'm assuming she's gone gone uh but i, I love that so much more i think because it really really elevates the situation because also like no disrespect to her as a character but she wasn't like needed i guess if that makes sense like she wasn't needed to be like present in the story for a lot of stuff so being able to take her but be able to have like such a strong impact on everybody else that's around her makes it okay uh in a good way for them to to actually approach it and do this and actually just i don't know i like that a lot i like that that so 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 much was it so so it gets me wondering was kasaki because he's the one who kills him right and we call isn't out for being like crazy about wanting to kill people and everything too so clearly it seems to be it was his intentions but this gang has never existed in the other iterations of those timelines but mikey still loses himself at the end of the day so we're under the assumption or at least i am that emma probably dies in every single one of these and we just actually don't pay any attention to her that's actually crazy now thinking about it that we lose emma, emma and tina in both of them which is fucking wild uh but anyways if, if we lose her in literally every single one of them we're assuming you know kasaki or isana has to be involved and one of them have to be doing it but isana wasn't involved with this group specifically when he came in in here uh and the other timeline so at what point i guess does he come involved that we just weren't aware for him in the other previous seasons i guess that is possible entirely um and then also under the idea that 
if this does happen in the other ones, I'm assuming Mikey never finds out that Kisaki or Izuna or whoever is probably the one who actually ends up killing her, because in this situation, there's no way that he would go back and be fucking okay and forgive Kisaki. Like, that wouldn't happen, but then we see that he, like, works up top, you know, at the at the top of the group and, you know, works closely with them or whatever, uh, and other different timelines and stuff that we've had. So that also, to me, is just, like, off, right? So I'm assuming all that stuff had to have been hidden to some sort of extent, right? And that would end up making a lot of sense. But, I mean, I guess that could make sense because Kisaki was, like, heavily behind the, the killings uh, of uh, Hina and all these other ones, right? And I'm assuming if Mikey and stuff know about Hina about dying as a result of this guy, too, they probably probably wouldn't be okay with it so uh I, I guess we can just kind of follow it down the exact same path of that anyways now we're gonna play a lot with mikey being completely dark i guess uh it, actually it might not be the case it could just be he's down completely on himself uh he's not mentally there anymore to fight or he could be fueled by a lot of anger and hatred uh and it could really lead him into what exactly is going to be coming forward within this arc which i think also would make a lot of sense if they want to uh go down that route um and i'm i'm fully expecting that with him completely being broken at this point uh it's just the direction i guess of him being broken that they want to take uh and then i'd be just excited to see how exactly that i i also want to know what the conversation between him and Izuna were when when they told takamichi to step aside because there was no like violence it was literally just talking about the fighting that they were going to do at night so i mean unless it was the exact same thing and they just kind of like like worked all that out a little bit more just to make sure that each other were going to be there uh but also if that's the case i'm assuming that's going to happen soon probably next couple episodes uh and we're really just going to get right into it where our fucking dude's going to be pissed and he's going to be ready to prep to fight to the death on the same night that somebody just killed your sister is the fucking craziest thing in the world <laughs> well, there's that emma abandoned by mother uh introduction into uh dynamic i guess with new brothers and everything else that happens which i think is good i've always kind of been interested in their their thing too and then we also get the backstory a little bit on how mikey was like so strong what he was capable of exactly how he was when he was younger uh being able to also get the idea of like his nickname and why you know all that stuff kind of ended up coming about uh and i think that, that was like really sweet how he did it emma starts trauma dumping on us <laughs> which i think is the funniest shit uh, it's it's sad because of course also as a kid and everything you would but i think it's just the funniest shit like you're just trying to joke around with somebody and they're just like damn my mom don't love me <laughs> It's just funny to think about. Uh, and then, you know, fun moments of her having people in her life like Draken and Mikey and people that are important. She doesn't have to look back on those those negative and sad times where she has so much and so many good things here. Uh, Mikey being all Sundere here. <laughs> but Takamichi and so possessive over him is really cute. Uh, and then we basically figure out, you know, they have bad intentions. The whole meeting goes down. Uh, a bunch of that stuff. Hawkeye being told you need to be separated right like we we need you to watch after these people uh and then which is a big blow because he's probably one of the better fighters of course that they have so that's kind of crazy that they do that but mikey taking on that big old responsibility at the end of the day of being like oh don't worry you don't need all these other leaders and stuff like you guys got me right like we're good it's more weight that he's putting on himself and now they're going to be expecting stuff out of him probably as a result here and also he's completely down now with the whole emma thing it's it's a big big issue that he's kind of finding himself in uh which i think is fucking crazy and then for the whole second half we end up kind of coming here and joining together i love Izuno's approach here of just like he's not aggressive he's not like pushing people he's not str like strong or like fighting or whatever he's just kind of letting them handle him however he wants and he's just talking or saying whatever it is that he has to which i think is fucking crazy um and then a bunch of the emma stuff and things that i kind of already touched on and talked about how you know she feels and how this whole situation ended up coming about she gets fucking hit here takamichi is just stuck and doesn't know what to do i wish uh i was gonna say i wish like he tried to protect her or did something but one he probably didn't really see it it looked like he ducked i don't know i could be bugging but it looked like he ducked which makes sense now in my head it's like always whenever we have time travel we can go back and fix things but i always forget that in this show you're already in the past so you can't go back more in the past uh so of course he's probably gonna want to protect himself uh which i think is i mean it makes sense uh emma gets completely fucked up here and mikey is broken why mikey doesn't run either i don't get i mean i guess it could just be we plan to have her die anyway so what's the point of you know trying to go through all of this stuff while she's running um which easily i mean could make sense but there's somebody fucking dying on my back and i have to get them to a hospital probably a couple miles away i'm not just gonna walk with them right like we're gonna be sprinting and immediately in action 
Uh, very sad, all the stuff that he starts kind of going through here in this moment where he starts reflecting on all the things, you know, the memories that they could have, you know, at some point in their future with everybody together uh, and all, you know, how important and stuff that she is to him, her coming out and making sure that he talks about how Draken is uh, or how that she loves him. And then also the the part that really breaks my heart too is just him coming out and being like, oh, it's supposed to be a secret. I wasn't going to tell you and tells like about how Draken is. It's so fucking sad uh, to be able to see really really is uh and then we kind of end off there and it's a it's an interest at all and that's for sure i can't stand it you know it's it's heartbreaking for you to have to go through all of this and build up all this trauma and all these issues you know with all these characters and their relationships and ultimately have to lead us into a fight but it gives them reasons to fight and do the things that they are doing uh and it happens and plus honestly i I unpopularly love when we kill characters in shows and we actually do it like pretty good and I think this is a, a good example of it because it makes things so much more interesting and intriguing to see how people are going to react and bounce back from it um which I'm very kind of excited for uh, we'll see what happens next if you liked it all hit the like and subscribe to me and a lot to me feel free to check out the videos and channel leave it in the comments of this series I'm gonna go record episode six right now so we'll at least have two <laughs> my long hiatus sorry about that again but you know life happens and we're gonna probably still be behind regardless so see you next time though hopefully for episode six gives a good one peace